so Twilight and Derpy want to communicate with each other, right? So he, she has a private network, Twilight, of 10.0.0.0/24, and Derpy has a private network of 172.16.0.0, and they both want to communicate with each other because they have some awesome servers and cool thingy-majiggers. So the problem is they're connected to the internet, but they can't do any routing. They can't like, hey, I want to go to this private network because Luna up here, Luna, is the ISP for the day. She's kind of sad because she doesn't like being an ISP. The other, the other gal that was doing it was called in sick, so she had to manage all the all the switches and routers, all the routers for the ISP for the for the eight 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 zero network and the six 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 four network. And these are spread out geographically really like a big network and these are just two of them. I can only fit this on one paper, so just imagine this is far apart. So she's kinda sad. But this is the public internet. They're both connected to so Derpy's connected to the public internet here and Twilight's connected to the public internet here and they need a way of communicating with each other on their private networks so the perfect solution for that is a site-to-site -site VPN on their routers and we can use GRE the GRE protocol generic routing encapsulation so what it does is takes that um, destination packet for the private network and sends it out over a tunnel. So you could imagine a little tunnel is set up between over the public network, IP network, from the source to destination. So both of these routers are able to communicate with each other over the public network here through this tunnel. So this router, Twilight's router, can't communicate with Derpy's router because when Twilight sends out um, packets, I just use the default route. The ISP router knows, hey, I know that um, Derpy's IP address, so then it gets sent to hers. So both of these routers can communicate with each other over the public network. Communication is set up. So what we use, again, is a protocol called GRE that encapsulates these private IP addresses or whatever you want to send over directly um, to the other router. It's as if these two routers were directly connected to each other um, like a serial cable point to point and it's really cool. So how do we set this up? So Twilight already has this set up and she's like what? Taking like she already sets it up set it up and Derpy just sitting there derping the network and Twilight's waiting. I mean, she's got it all done and right. She's like, perfect, you know. And I'm over here just derping around, trying to figure things out. So it's pretty easy, the commands, to set up a tunnel. So all we have to do is make a tunnel interface. So go to global configuration and make a tunnel. Then just put it in the tunnel mode, GRE. And then on both sides of the tunnel, when Twilight created hers, she put it on the 192.168.0.0/24 network. So both sides just need an IP address for the tunnel. This has to be unique. So they have to be both in the same subnet. Then we set a source. So this is the source and destination are really important. This is what sets um, up the communication between the two routers over the public network. So I set the source to the serial interface here. But you can also specify source IP address, so it would be 66665 on this. And then the destination is the other router on the public network, so it's 8882, and that's right here, Twilight. So that sets up a tunnel between these two routers. She has her side set up, so that's all you need. And so on her side, you would set the tunnel source to the source address here. 8888.2 and the destination would just be the reverse, right? So the destination would be instead of um, it would be 6664, just the other way around, right? Because one needs a destination and a source, and this side needs a destination to send to and a source. 
So that's pretty, pretty simple to set up. So let's go ahead and set that up and open up the derp router. So interface tunnel zero. So tunnel mode GRE IP, send an IP address. And then source, so tunnel source, and that would be the serial interface here. It's this one right here, 0000. zero, zero, zero. And then tunnel, tunnel destination is the IP address in the public network, so it would be twilights.2 interface over here, so it would be 8.8.8.2. .8 so look, you can see the, um, the interface tunnel protocol is up. So we do show interface brief. We can see it's up and up. The tunnel is set up. Woo! So let's ping the other side. So let's do ping 192.168.1. And Twilight's uh, tunnel IP address is set to dot two. So it should work. Oh, pff, no wonder why. One IP address is <laughs> zero. Woo! It can ping. The tunnel is working. Sweet. Okay, 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 okay. So now what we want to do is how do we get to these networks? So these routers need to know what networks are there. So we could set up a static route and, um, and set it up to point to the tunnel. But what's even better is uh, we can set up EIGRP. So that's way cooler. We got to set up some routing. So we'll go back to the derp and twilight as usual. Does it buy the book? She has it all perfect. Jeez, you know, I think it's irritating. We're over here derping us humans. So it's pretty easy. You just go to router, the router configuration mode, EIGRP, and set autonomous system number one. That's what she has it set to. It's just a number. I'll explain it later, but they have to be the same. And then you just share the network that you have. So say network, network command 172. That's 16 at 0, that's 0. Subnet mask. And then you specify the tunnel IP address subnet because what the network command does, again, in routing protocol is twofold. One, it tells the router what uh, directly connected networks to send those routing updates, right? So this network command encompasses this network over here. And it also specifies what interfaces are enabled to send those uh, routing um, updates, whatever you want to call them, out the interface, activate the interfaces. So in order to activate it, to send it out, uh, we have to specify the um, tunnel address, 192.168.0.0. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, I was derping the network earlier <laughs> really hard. And what I did was in EIGRP, in any really routing protocol, when you have a tunnel set up, um, if you do network, if you specify all the networks or have a subnet in that encompasses all the networks, for example, if it also shares this public network, it may be a private in your internal network infrastructure. And if you share this too on this side, so what happens is I have a default route set up going out the serial interface for all networks. So Derpy knows how to get to, remember that destination command, 88882. So it knows it fits the, um, the default route. So it goes out the serial interface and it gets there. But um, once routing is set up and you accidentally share this network here, when it comes back with as a router um, update, what'll happen is, um, remember the destination is 8888882 to get to the um, other side of the router. So what'll happen is, <laughs> this is really funny, um, the best match wins. So once it sends out another GRE packet out, it notices in the routing table, Ooh, I see the 8888 network and it's out the tunnel interface. So then it sends it out the tunnel interface and pff, it's recursive. 
and it goes in a loop. It can't go anywhere, right? Because the 88882 network is not on the tunnel, but it thinks it is because of that routing update. It's kind of complicated, but moral of the story, do not share these networks here with the routing protocols. Bad things will happen. Interfaces will flap. The world will come to an end. This is what you'll kind of get. So you'll get EIGRP. The tunnel will go down. And then the neighbors will be flapping. And they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. the world will come to an end. So make sure your um, network commands are very restrictive. Only the networks you want to share. Only. Don't be sharing all the things now. And if you do have to have a weird setup with um, routing, best match always wins the most bits. So say, give a default route to 8888.2 directly and it tell it um, to go out the serial interface, right? Not the tunnel. So you can't go... <laughs> the, it's, it's so stupid because the tunnel to get to the destination is 888.2 but with the routing protocols like ERGRP, if you share it accidentally back, the route it will go in this routing table here and say, oh, to get to that network, I go to the tunnel. It's so recursive. It's hilarious. I probably spent more time than I should have on that. But um, this website really helped me out. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. You saved the pom pons. So this is the basic concepts, um, why it fails. So it gives a few explanations of how to fix it. So... Long story short, be very selective with your network commands. So don't do it right. So now back to where we were. So we want to share our private network. And now we want to activate the, the um, tunnel interface, right? Because that's our direct connection to Twilight over the IP network. So once we share it, woo, we established an adjacency. Now we're talking. So do I sh show IP route? And you can see oh, there's Twilight's network. I could see it. It's over the tunnel. So now our packets are all encapsulated over a tunnel. So we have a little itty bitty tunnel now. A little tunnel. It's so adorable. It's not encrypted. We can't encrypt our muffin packets, but still, it's a tunnel. So now we can communicate. So let's go to let's go to Derpy's computer. Let's go to her pooter. Let's go to her pooter. So we'll do the ping. So ping 10.0.0.2 should be your. <gasps> it works. It works. Okay, let's do a trace route. Let's do a trace route because I'm curious. I'm going. Sweet. So it goes, look at that, to our gateway. Makes sense. Our next hop tunnel. <laughs> and then finally Twilight. So what's going on is first hop, when we ping, goes to our interface. Default gateway makes total sense. Then it goes to our virtual interface here, our tunnel of dot two. It's not this interface dot two, but the virtual one. Um, that makes sense because it goes through a tunnel. There could be tons of devices in between. We don't care about what's in between because it's a tunnel. Jiri does that for us over the IP network. And then the last hop is Twilight's machine. So effectively, we set up EIG. Uh, we set up GRE, a tunnel between these two these two routers over the public IP network. And we used EIGRP to share the, uh, Twilight's network and Derpy's network. So now they can communicate with each other. So let's ping the other way. Let's see if it works. Let's do, let's do Twilight. So, oops, and we'll go to PC1. So, we're going to ping 172.16.0. Dot, what's our IP address? Two. <gasps> we can ping! It's a reason. So, pretty simple. All we did, recap. 
made a tunnel interface, put it in tunnel mode, the, the GRE, set an IP address, you have to give the tunnel an IP address, and then a source and a destination, right? So this is on the public network. So the source router and the destination, how to get to the destination router. So that was basically it. I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.